Okay, story time. Anytime you put yourself out there, there's going to be some haters. Just is what it is. So this is the Roof Nuts ad on Facebook, and there was this gentleman named David King who said, who the F are these people doing self-ads, 2Ds, can't spell, and plain clothes, shake my head. To which I thought was clever, so I responded, hey Dave, my name's Jay Bradley, nice to meet you. That's no plain shirt. That's a shirt from a baller ass <laughs> apple orchard in Blue Ridge, Georgia. Show some respect to the shirt. And then I did a laugh, right? I thought it was fun. So Dave sends me a message on Facebook, a friend request, and I thought, well, that's cool. Hey, Dave, thanks for sending me a friend request. Hopefully you thought good fun in my response. Then this morning, Dave put up this post that said service companies will do everything not to pay their workers, but they will spend ten to twenty thousand dollars on a three hundred pound guy with bad teeth that won't get on a roof, yada yada yada. Clearly I feel like I know who he's talking about. Now what Dave doesn't know is every time I get somebody on the phone, I usually say, Hey man, I'm the fat guy with the crooked teeth, so I don't really care about that part. I've always had crooked teeth, I've always been the fat guy. And so that doesn't hurt my feelings, but what does hurt me is knowing that Dave is in this world hurt, right? Somewhere along the way, somebody has hurt him so bad that he has to go on Facebook and cut others down to make himself feel better. So my question to you guys is, how should we respond? Should we send a lot of private messages to Dave, let him know that he's loved by people in the community? Maybe we should get an address, send him some flowers, a little postcard. Clearly, he needs love in his life. He's missing something. Either way, I'm just letting y'all know, if you put yourself out there, there's going to be people that hate on you. And it's not, like, literally, if somebody that I respected was hating on me, then I would really give a shit. Um, but Dave, nobody from wherever, doesn't matter to me. And it shouldn't matter to you. So don't let your haters bother you. Don't let anybody's opinion of you dictate your reality. I like my crooked teeth because it shows that I came from a struggle. I didn't come from a rich family. I didn't come from any, you know, I came from a working class, probably lower middle class family and have built what we've built today through Roof Nuts and Secure Plan. So I'm super proud of what I've done. So thanks for the reminder, Dave. I appreciate you reminding me of all the hard work we put in to be successful. I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon.